For the Circuit Python Parsec today, I wanted to show you how to use the sound sensor inside of Circuit Playground on the Circuit Playground Blue Fruit. So as you can see here, I have some code running. I've got my Circuit Playground Blue Fruit and register each time I make a sound and the level of that, uh, you will see that level change on the graph. So how does this work? What I do is import the from the Adafruit Circuit Playground, I import CP. That library takes care of all of the low-level stuff, makes it really easy to use. In my main loop, all I'm doing is printing cp.sound underscore level. That's it. All you have to do is ask for, hey, what is cp.sound level? Uh, and that will give you a number. You can see them scrolling by on the side here. Let me, uh, let me see. Will this let me adjust that? It won't. Uh, so you can see the numbers. If I'm kind of quiet... I've got air conditioning in here, so those are only getting down to about 50, 60. Uh, but then when I clap, we see that thing spike way up close to 2,000. Uh, so you can not only use that to graph the sound, but you can use it as a trigger for things. Uh, so what this one does is it uses a little extra bit called loud sound. So cp.loudsound, you can see it there. If I'm quiet and then I say something, it is registering that sound. So I'll be real quiet. And anytime you want to use something like a snap or a clap, you can trigger an effect. So let's bring this threshold up. Okay, so now I have to get a little bit closer and a little bit louder before it triggers. So the way this works is I say, again, from Adafruit Circuit Playground, import CP. Then if cp.loudsound, that's either false or true, when it goes above a threshold, which there's a default built into there, I can't remember what it is, but if you want to specify it yourself, you can say sound threshold equals and then a number. Uh, and then in this case, I'm using Circuit Playground's uh, pixels to fire off those neopixels by saying cp.pixels.fill and give it a color value. Uh, and then I wait a little moment so that we get like a half a second before it drops right back off. And so that is how you can use the sound detection inside of CircuitPython's Circuit Playground library on the Circuit Playground Blue Fruit with the onboard microphone. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.